Shadow the Rat and in today's video I thought I would talk about what I find to be the best way to give your rat antibiotics or any sort of medication. Now my girls aren't currently on any medication, however I do have this old bottle here that I filled with some water, so I'm going to be using this to demonstrate. So there are a few different methods out there for giving antibiotics or any sort of medication to your rats. However, a lot of them are kind of stressful because you end up trying to force feed the animal and then one of the problems is that your animal can aspirate the medicine, which basically means that the fluid goes down the wrong tube, it goes down the trachea instead of the esophagus, and then what happens is that it actually gets into the rat's lungs, which can cause pneumonia, which can cause death. So, you know, you have to be very careful. You want to be very precise and be very aware of what your rat is doing if you're actually going to try to force feed them. Also, that can be very stressful on the animal. And if it is stressful on a sick animal, you know, that's never good. I know a lot of experienced force feeders can do it in like 15 seconds flat, so that's not too stressful. But, you know, the first few times you try it, it can take like 15 minutes and that's just not very good on the animal. It's not easy on you. So I'm going to give a pretty easy alternative. So for this method to work, your rat has to actually still be eating something. Uh, that something doesn't have to be solid food. Actually, it's better if it's something like a liquid treat, like this meat baby food here. And it just needs to be eating its favorite food because if it's not eating, then this isn't going to work. Okay, so now that we assume that our rat is eating, this is the method that I have used to get all my rats to eat their medication right away, even stuff like bitter betrill, which is usually something rats won't take on its own. So. What do I do here? So what I usually do is I take a syringe like this one. You can see this is a millimeter syringe and you want one of these if you're going to be giving medication because usually the dosages for rats are very small. So I think the dose that I was using here, it says one drop per mouth, but I think that was 0 0.02 milliliters, which is, you know, super, super small and you cannot really eyeball that well. So now we're going to use this syringe here to take up a small bit. And you can see this one comes with a dropper. However, I wouldn't use that because, you know, the dosages are, for rats are just so small. And what you want to do is first make sure that your syringe is all the way decompressed. So you want to make sure there is no air at the other end. That's because you don't want to accidentally screw up the dosage by getting air with your medication. So now I'm going to try to withdraw 0.02 milliliters, which would be the dosage my rat would get if I was using this. I have a few air bubbles in here right now, so I would actually withdraw again. Okay, there we go, that's better. And now I bring it all the way down to 0.02. And now is when I would use this method, which is basically just mixing food with whatever your rat has to take. So basically I would use something liquid, so here I have yogurt. Now, I don't actually recommend using yogurt unless you know it's not gonna affect the antibiotic in question because oftentimes yogurt will make antibiotics less effective, so you don't want to use it unless you absolutely know that it won't affect it. And something else you can use is applesauce. I have that here. However, I find that rats get pretty bored of this pretty quickly, so I don't use it nearly as often as something else, like let's say meat baby food. And meat baby food here, I find this to be very, very attracting to the rats. And a good thing to do is to buy some different flavors. Here I have chicken, I have turkey, and I have beef. And what I would do is actually mix these up. So sometimes I would use one, sometimes the other, just to keep the rat guessing so they never know exactly what's gonna happen. And the trick here is to make your rat think, okay, I'm getting a treat. You don't want them to think they're getting something laced. So it's a good idea to feed a bit of whatever you're going to feed first without any medication. And then afterwards, when the rat is really enjoying themselves, you feed the medicated dose. So what I usually do is I take a very tiny bit of the meat baby food or whatever I'm using, and then I use my syringe and I just decompress it in there. And then I mix it about. So now I have this little liquidy mix like this. And then I would give this to my rat to lick up. And I don't have my rats out right now, but in a minute I'm going to get Cookie out to show you exactly what I mean. But there's just one more thing I wanted to discuss. So basically, I found that meat baby food is a really good way of getting any medications into your rat. But another thing you can use is something like this chocolate syrup or chocolate ice cream. I find that chocolatey things tend to be one of the higher tiers of food values for the rats. However, I wouldn't recommend using it unless nothing else has worked because you want to always have something you can progress towards. If you start with the highest value treat like this and your rat decides one day that they no longer want it, then you're gonna have an issue because everything else is lower value and your rat has already rejected your highest value thing. 
So yeah, I'm going to get one of my rats out right now and show you some of the different methods that I use when giving the medication to them this food way. Okay, I'm back here with Cookie. You can see her right here. And I will be giving her this medicated stuff so I'm not actually going to mix anything in with this, but if it was your rat, you would want to actually mix the medication in, you know, before you give it to them. So basically I just present it to her like this and I'd let her lick it. And <laughs> Cookie right now is not too happy with me. You gonna eat it? There you go. I just grabbed her out of the cage. She was kind of sleepy. But you see, then she finished it off. And if I needed her to finish more off, I would add a little bit more meat baby food. And another way that I find that actually helps is if I do it off my finger. So if I give medication off my finger, I sometimes find that the rats will actually eat more of it just because I guess they like eating stuff off our fingers. That's just what they like. And then another way you can do it is if your rat doesn't like to eat in your presence or in the other rat's presence, you can take them into a new cage and then you can give them something like this and mix your medication on top of it so that they can eat it at their own leisure. Now, when you are giving your rat medication, you want to do it in a familiar area, not like I'm doing with Cookie here, because you don't want your rat to be stressed or anything. You want them to immediately think, oh, food, I want to eat it, instead of, oh my gosh, where am I? What am I doing? Like Cookie here seems to be thinking, what are you doing, Cookie? So yeah, that's basically all I have for tips on this. You just want to be sure that whatever you're using with the antibiotics isn't going to make them less effective and you just want to make sure that it's something that your rat actually likes to eat. So in this case, meat baby food is a great example. Something like Nesquik, if you really need a higher value treat, is going to also be pretty good. So yeah, I hope this helps anyone out there trying to figure out how to feed medications to your rat. I find that especially if your rat is still pretty active and you know food motivated, and this is a great way to get the medication in them because those rats aren't really going to sit still for you to syringe feed them something. I've done it with gerbils before and I never liked doing it, so with my rats I've tried my hardest to always give it to them in a more palatable form like this. So yeah, I hope that was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye!